Oh, Buckskin Dave here. <clears throat> I uh, we're gonna I'm gonna cut and fit this butt butt stock next to the wood or butt plate next uh, to this wood. And uh, remember, I always said I like to um, I like to kind of head towards finish. Well, after I was done the other day, I went and buffed this out. Just kind of gave it a start finish, and uh, that's what it's going to end up looking like. And I don't know if you remember how bad it was when we started. Uh, it's going to look pretty good. So I'm going to get my barrel out. And all this stuff off of here. We're going to cut out the... Uh, I've drawn this on here. Where I want it. And then you'll notice I drew these lines. I'm going to cut into the curve first, then I'm going to cut this sweep and this way these parts will fall out uh, as we do that. Um, sometimes trying to cut these curves it kind of binds up a little bit. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, you can cut these out by hand. I've cut them out by hand. Um, I'm going to cut this one out on a bandsaw. So... If you're cutting a board and not a pre-shaped stock, you can set it flat on the saw and, and get a perfect, or more perfect. I don't know that it comes out perfect. But anyway, <clears throat> this one needs a little bit of file work. What we gotta do first, what I gotta do first, is get something good and flat to start with and lined up at the angle you want it to go. I gotta make sure that when this is on here, it's not pointing up or down, it's pointing straight towards this, uh, this point right here on the stock, the nose of it, so the nose of the comb. So I need to get a good level spot where I have plenty of wood on both sides to work. and. It looks like my curve is good. It's going to need to be fitted. And I've got it level now. So what I need to do is start working the comb back so that this will work up, up against the curve. Then I can put my lamp black on there and start uh, playing with the curve. Anyway, I do most of this work with files. I uh, used my little coping saw and I cut. I had quite a bit to go I had. Oh shit, probably a quarter of an inch ago, so I cut a little piece out, and now I'm bringing it back, and I, like I say, I do most of this work with these uh, heavy wood files, keeping it, I like to keep it both level and smooth, and I'm getting there. I got about sixteenth of an inch to go, and uh, this will be touching, and then this here, will be a little bit of ways and I'll have to make this corner better to fit. But it, it looks like it's coming in really, really well. So I just got about a sixteenth to take off of here. And uh, then we'll start putting our, I always make sure to keep, I like to keep this shelf nice and flat because I've got it now where it's flat and this is, sitting so I have wood on both sides. Okay, so things are starting to touch now and even up. So this is where we get our lamp black. Okay, let me get a... This is where we get our lamp black and start putting that on. And we'll see where it's touching and we'll take it off one little piece at a time until it's perfect. 
So we'll put our lamp black on here, here. So, get that on there and then we'll start seeing where she's touching. Okay. So, we're looking pretty good along here. We got some high spots out here. This is where I would probably get a chisel because to use a file, you take more than what your intended exact spot is off. So this is where I'd probably come in with a chisel and just take off the high spots. Okay, so I got it. You can see by the marks, I got it sitting pretty good. I got a little high spot there. Sitting up good there, level at the top. I'm thinking, looking at it, I got no gaps all the way around so I'm thinking I'm looking good it's time to put some holes in it drill it and mount it on there. I've got a hand crank screwdriver that I use quite often avoids that problem okay so oh yeah our screw fits good so now let's kind of sink it while we got it in the vise right there looks oh yeah just a little more it's really difficult countersinking rounded surfaces so you can get your screw sitting just right I just do it a little at a time one thing about these kind of, sometimes they don't do anything and all of a sudden the goat wants and I want that screw to just be perfectly level and it's getting real close just a little tiny bit more okay bet that's it I'm probably polished the top of this screw, which will take it down and I'll shape it. There we go. I'll shape it to the roundness. So, you want it to fit nice. Whoop, get some out of the blur. So, you want it to fit, okay? Kind of nice like that. And like I say, this screw will be shaped just a little too. So now we do the other one. Okay, this one has to be small, smaller than the screw. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting one that's the right size. You want it big enough that it'll, it won't split nothing, but you want it small enough that it'll thread. And we need to go down, okay, we go pretty deep. Okay, now when I put this in, I'll put a little bit of, you can either use soap, I don't have any soap, but I have some Vaseline. So I put a little bit of Vaseline on the threads. And kind of like lubing your threads when you
when you cut threads in metal, it's kind of like lubricating them because you're kind of doing the same thing. Okay, let's get this last one in. And we try to get, if we can, the slots to go parallel with the rifle. This one ain't, ain't going to quite do it yet, ah, but it's pretty dang close. And we only do that if we can. There we have it. So we're ready to go. You can see a lot of material is going to come off of this when we shape this stock. And one of the things you really want to make sure you get is you want to get it to where it points. You don't want it nose diving. You don't want it this way. You want it so it points right to, and it looks like it's gonna. Let me get back a little. Looks like it's pointing pretty much right to this. Because remember, we're gonna take quite a bit off the top of this so we can point it right down to the tip of this cone. Uh, good tight fit. What we're looking for. There you have it. It took me most of a uh, couple of three hours to do that. A little at a time. I just go a little at a time. There's probably people could do it faster, but don't need to. So anyway, I'm Dave Morelli. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe and have a good day and keep shooting black powder. Bye-bye.